Welcome back. This is Jack. You read the title, you know what I'm about to talk about. We're going to be talking about the housing bubble. I do have to let you know I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I an economist, so take that when you listen to what I have to say. To talk about the housing bubble, you have to talk about something's value. So I'm going to be going really fast. You have something's intrinsic value. That is the value of the base materials, whether it be the wood, the metal, the plastic, you name it. That is its intrinsic value. It is what the thing is if it was broken completely apart into its base materials. Then you also have its inherited value. This is a value that's assigned to something based on what you would be willing to pay slash what all the manual labor of putting it together was. It's the final product value. So your iPhone, um, your iPhone when fully assembled, the video game when fully made. That's its inherited value value. Under normal circumstances, those two things dictate a thing's price. What is assumed you'd be willing to pay slash its material cost. But you also have what's referred to as speculation. Speculation is not always a good a bad thing, but it's destroyed our economy multiple times. Speculation is when something is bought not on its inherited or its intrinsic value. It is bought on the expectation that other people will speculate it to be worth more. A common example of this is when major companies will buy up either large stretches of land or housing divisions or whatever, with no real intentions of renting them, they pretty much sit on it. Zillow recently has been busted doing this, by the way. But they buy the piece of property without improving its inherited value or giving any reason for its intrinsic value to ever go up. All they did was bought the property, and as, other, um, as the scarcity goes up, as other properties are being bought up, the value of their property goes up, so therefore they sell it. They had no intention of adding to the market or doing anything other than buying and then selling, similar to stocks you'd find in a stock market, treating properties such as that. Now, this will continue on until loans or willing buyers start disappearing. Once it reaches a critical point, you'll have a major player in this game back out, and then everybody else does the same, causing the house of cards that was built up doing this to fall apart. This happened in 2007 and 2008, and we're on the precipice of this happening again. There's a lot, it's a lot more complex way to explain it, and I can do that in another video if you'd like, but that's, this is the essential quick notes. We're seeing the bubble being inflated by pure speculation where there is nothing being added to value, it's just add value being added because people are speculating the value will go up. I appreciate y'all watching. If you like what I had to say, there's that like button down below. If you want me to explain a little bit more in depth, either in another video or just answer an immediate question, there's that comment section down below. And don't forget, if you like these videos, there's that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I release a new video. I appreciate everything and see y'all in the next one.